A local chaplain never had answers about his own family's story. There were times that he didn't even want to know that story. And after 63 years, would he even be able to get those answers if he tried? News Channel 5's Forrest Sanders has the story of a chaplain's life and a surprise turn. We're there at the worst moments of their lives to give them hope, to give, bring comfort. A chaplain at TriStar Centennial Medical Center, Alan Tanner serves families. I'm called to be in the trenches with people who are broken and hurting and suffering. But despite that family focus, there's so much Alan didn't know about his own family. Never knew my real biological father, never knew my real biological mother, and I had a very traumatic uh, childhood. A lot of uh, abuse in my childhood by an adopted family. Run away at 13 years old, living on the streets, you know, eating out of dumpsters and, and sleeping in cardboard boxes for a while. After living through that as a child, Alan didn't ever want to know his biological parents. But then... My daughter decided to trace her lineage. And she said, Dad, I think I found your mom. Alan made the decision to call that woman in Connecticut 15 minutes after leaving a message. He got a call back. After 63 years, he heard his mother's voice on the phone. Yeah, it was incredible. It was, uh, I never thought I would. So what would come about from that call? Well, today, Alan is joined by Diana Scalise, his mother. I married Alan's father when I was 15 and a half, maybe. I ended up getting pregnant with Alan. My husband was very abusive. I was just a child. I had let my mother-in-law adopt my child. I always thought about him. I always loved him. To hear her say, you know, I love you, it, it's surreal. Little toehead. We're here now together as a family. There's a bond between a mother and a child that is always there. <laughs> Crazy. Yep, it is, but wonderful. I'm Boris Sanders, News Channel 5. It is a beautiful story. By the way, Alan also managed to contact his father a few years ago, and they were able to reconcile before his father died.